Hey everyone, this is Ron Pereira from uh, LSS Academy and Gemba Academy, and uh, we've been getting a lot of questions over on the LSS Academy blog um, related to, um, I guess, our most popular article of all time, which is how to create a value stream map. Um, specifically how to create a current state value stream app and a lot of the questions uh, have to do with how to create process cycle efficiency now in this uh, article um, we uh, we go through a value stream map uh, creation process for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich making factory and um, you can read the article to get the uh, get the, all the details but um, I kind of glanced over in the article on how to calculate process cycle efficiency so I want to go through this in detail in this short video so in this example um, this uh, operation works one shift per day all right um, there's eight hours available in the during the shift in other words the lights are on for eight hours um, we, we get this into minutes which gives us 480 minutes or 28,800 seconds Again, um, over on the blog, I'll link up this spreadsheet so you can uh, see these formulas. Now, when we talk about uh, breaks, um, this factory uh, takes uh, one 30-minute break per shift, which is 1,800 seconds. Um, if we uh, then take this into uh, uh, the net minutes available per shift, in other words, we've got to take the total time available minus the breaks, so in this case, 480 minus 30 gives us 450 minutes are available uh, per shift. Take this into seconds, gets us to 27,000 seconds. Okay, let me scroll down a bit here so you can see. Uh, now what we have is the production lead time, which we calculated on the value stream map based on the amount of inventory they had on the line. They came up with uh, 2.39 days of production lead time. Now, when we take this into to minutes, um, taking 2.39 times 450, we get 1,076 minutes of production lead time. And take that into seconds, we get 64,530 seconds. Again, I'll link up this spreadsheet uh, so you can uh, take this uh, a bit slower at your own pace. Now, in this value stream map, we had a value added time of 97 seconds. In other words, there's 97 seconds of value-added work being done um, in this particular value stream. So when we take 97 seconds over 64,530, we arrive at 0.15% process cycle efficiency. In other words, 0.15% of the time um, value is being added in this particular process. So I hope that explains how process cycle efficiency is calculated. Um, now, if you'll allow a small commercial, um, I'd like to uh, let everyone know that if you are interested in learning a lot more about value stream mapping, um, I'd like to encourage you to check out what we've got going on over at Gimba Academy. Now, um, if you click on our products tab, You'll, you'll see all the different courses. The complete lean package basically contains everything that we, uh, that we offer. But the course in particular I'd like to uh, direct your attention to is our Transforming Your Value Streams course. Now in this, vi in this uh, course, we go through great detail on exactly um, A to Z on how to create value stream maps. We start with an overview. We go through PQPR. We talk about all the different shapes and icons. Uh, we go into detail on how to calculate tack time. Then we, we walk you through a, a far more detailed example of how to create a current state value stream map than we did in the, the blog article. In this case, we're following Treetop Incorporated, who makes birdhouses. It's kind of a fun example. Then we go through continuous flow, how to make value flow, doing one piece flow and different things like that talk about cycle time and tack time, how to balance cycle time and tack time and while uh, calculating the optimal crew size. Then we get to downstream pull, production leveling, hey Junka and Kanban. Um, then we kind of wrap the course up with creating a future state value stream map for uh, Treetop's birdhouse creation process. 
And we wrap things up. We've actually added a supplemental module since this course has been over on how to uh, run a one piece flow simulation, which is a pretty cool little simulation that anyone can do in their organization. So again, GimbaAcademy.com if you'd like to learn more. Otherwise, uh, shoot me an email um, if you have any questions um, or leave a comment to this uh, blog article. Thanks and have a great day.